What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. And guys, I apologize right off the top if this thing is lagging a lot. Um, I don't know what's going on today. The internet is just not good here today. Um, I don't know if it's a router problem on my end or if it is a like issue in our building or if it's whatever, but my internet is ridiculously slow today, so I do apologize. Um, but just wanted to bring you guys a quick video here. Um, but I do want to say first things first, this episode is presented by Prize Picks. Uh, be sure to visit the Prize Picks app today or go to prizepicks.com and use the code BTJ when you sign up to get a $100 deposit match. Now, guys, the Colts had a mini camp today. Um, a lot to talk about with that one. Um, as far as some players who didn't practice again, um, I would say the only one that's surprising, and I wouldn't even necessarily say it is, uh, surprising because ultimately we kind of understand the purpose of it. Um, at the end of the day, Michael Pittman was not practicing and, that really shouldn't be surprising. Um, again, he bumped knees with someone uh, a couple weeks ago. They said that he was, you know, he he could play if he if they had to do a game time, but he's ultimately just not doing it now because there's no point, right? There's no point in stretching it. Might as well just allow him to, you know, get some of those. Uh, work through some of those pains and stuff, uh, just deal with it. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not too worried about it. Um, Alec Pierce did not practice today. Uh, he met with the media earlier. I'm not hundred percent sure why, but whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Um, and then as far as some stuff that happened at practice today, um, Again, we already talked about the Daniel Scott. Um, we talked about the Daniel Scott stuff earlier, um, how he is now going to be out for the year um, due to the injury and whatnot. But we move on to some other stuff that went down. Uh, the quarterbacks running a whole bunch of different drills today. They ran seven on sevens. They ran 11 on 11s. A lot of things to talk about with this one. Um, and then they said um, Anthony Richardson actually did very well in the 11-on-11 11 11 drills today. Uh, George Bremer talking about it said um, he was 4-for-5 uh, with a TD and 11-on-11 11 11 drills today. Said three of the receptions and the lone TD went to Josh Downs. So Josh Downs, very, uh, very much a big threat in that today. Um, actually said that he didn't do overall great in the seven on sevens. Um, did say he did have a couple throws or uh, high throws early and a couple low throws late. Said that's what spring is for. Again, Anthony Richardson said he's 95% there, but he's still, I mean, it's still spring. You're still trying to get a few of the throws down. We knew that's going to be something that's going to need to continue to get better. Um, I think, I can't remember who posted it, but somebody said Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco was just dotting everywhere on the field today. So uh, the Indianapolis Colts having a couple of, uh, <clears throat> having these quarterbacks that are balling right now uh, in spring ball. Says uh, catch of the day was actually Tyree, uh, Cleveland climbing the ladder for a contested red zone TD from Sam Ellinger. Um, and then a couple other things said, uh, another impressive day for wide receiver Adonai Mitchell. Several big plays, especially in seven on seven work. One TD from Richardson in particular in a seven on seven, uh, where the rookie extended to make a catch near the boundary. Uh, he has popped er, in each practice that's been open to the media. Um, 
I'll tell you what, guys. I I, I will admit it. Uh, it it's obviously spring. So when when the summertime gets around and it's tra training camp and all that other stuff, it's definitely going to be a little bit of a different story potentially. Um, but the the Colts, the, their wide receiver in in, in uh, Adonai Mitchell are just absolutely going off right now. I mean, it's true. Everything that we've seen from a practice perspective, what Adonai Mitchell has been doing, I mean, he's been balling, man. I mean, he is absolutely balling. So I would definitely, uh, I would definitely continue to keep an eye on Adonai Mitchell. If he can continue to do these things in the, in the fall and, you know, doing what he's doing right now, then Adonai Mitchell is going to get a lot of playing time and Adonai Mitchell is going to have a lot of great things going for him. Um, but again, some good with today, some bad with today. You know, it's just kind of what one of those things you have to deal with. But uh, it, it was definitely a great uh, first couple days of mini camp here. I, I don't think it was their first mini camp practice, but it was uh, one of the first ones open to the media. Um, so, yeah, some good tidbits, some bad tidbits when it comes to uh, injuries and other things like that. But it is it is the NFL. There's a lot more time. Obviously, we still got two months almost until uh, training camp gets here. So we're definitely going to continue to bring you guys more and more content as we can. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Let us know your thoughts on the mini camp practice and what you've heard and highlights you've seen. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, go Colts. Yeah.